The Missouri Attorney General is suing a local Planned Parenthood chapter, saying the organization has repeatedly helped girls under 18 cross state lines to get abortions without their parents' permission. Missouri Capitol Bureau Chief Joe McLean reports from Jefferson City. To be clear, Bailey's lawsuit doesn't mention any specific case of a child being taken across state lines to get an abortion. No one has come forward saying that's happened to them or their child. Bailey's entire lawsuit is built on a secretly recorded video in which Planned Parenthood staffers appear to claim that's what's happening. The video was released in November by Project Veritas, a far-right group with a history of spreading misinformation. Because the footage does not meet our ethical standards, we're refraining from showing it here. The footage shows an anti-abortion activist claiming to be someone seeking an abortion across state lines for a 13-year-old. The footage shows Planned Parenthood staffers appearing to claim they routinely help teens travel and arrange abortion services, promising, quote, we never tell the parents anything. She's an adult in our clinics. It is against the law in Missouri to aid or assist a minor in getting an abortion without permission from their parent. Bailey's office did not respond to my request for an interview today, but Republican state lawmakers praised Bailey's suit. Uh, we're glad to see him, him defending life and, and making sure that these sorts of uh, egregious actions aren't occurring in the state of Missouri. Democrats, meanwhile, say the lawsuit is built on out-of-context statements, innuendo, and flat-out lies. Yeah, anybody using Project Veritas as their source is flawed. Mm -hmm. I mean, the they're, they're, they're a bankrupt company that's committed crimes in order to perpetrate a message that doesn't exist. But I think this falls in the bucket again of another lawsuit just to try to get some headlines in an election year. In Missouri, as well as 37 other states and D.C., it's legal to secretly record a conversation in most cases as long as one of the two parties is aware that it's being recorded. Still, Bailey's entire lawsuit is built on a recorded admission that an alleged crime took place with no specific recorded instance of it happening. In Jefferson City, Joe McLean, WGEM News.